Yo guys, what is good? Welcome back on the Uncle Sharma channel. I know we're not in a good mood today in Teristi after yesterday's loss against Juve in the Derby d'Italia. Another big game loss. It was not needed. But today we've got the UCL live draw. Um, it's going on as we speak. I've got a day off from work. So uh, I'm going to do like a quick live reaction to see who Inter get and of course who AC Milan and Napoli get as well. Uh, and yeah, we'll talk about it at the end of the video. So make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Let's go hope for a good draw. Okay, who is up next? AC Milan. Hamid Altentop has just picked out Milan, our cousins. AC Milan. They can face Porto, Bayern, Tottenham. Ooh, if they get Tottenham, that would be spicy against Conte. But I hope, I hope they get Bayern. That would be a nice one. Um, Porto would be good for them as well, but I want to get Porto. Let's see, let's see, let's see who do Milan get. Milan are getting... Hey, Tottenham! I know you want it. Want it, bro. You gotta go, you gotta go there and beat these guys. Son, Kane, Kluzewski, Richarlison versus Tomori, Kiet, you know, all them guys there. That, that, that's that's going to be a feisty one. That's going to be an interesting one. That's a very, very good draw. Napoli, 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 Napoli. They can get. Who can they get? Oh, they got Eintracht. Eintracht Frankfurt. Not bad, not bad. That to me, you know, Napoli. They should be going through. You know, the Milan Spurs is fifty-fifty, but Eintracht Frankfurt, Napoli. Napoli need to be going through to the next round. That's a good draw. Man, we're getting left towards the end. I just got a bad feeling about this. I, just, I can see we're going to get bloody Man City. I can just see it. We're getting left with Man City towards the end. But here we are. Inter, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, no Man City. Please, no Man City. Oh, no. We can only get Porto. Yes. Come on. Inter versus Porto. Conseil Sao. As you guys know, Conce Sao is one of my, if not my favorite manager to take over from Inzaghi, um, or even before Inzaghi. Uh, his Porto team, plucky, strong team. So it's not an easy draw, but oh, I'll take it. I'll, actually, I don't even know why I was thinking about Man City. Man City already um, got picked. So, yeah. Yes, guys, what well, is good? I hope you enjoyed that raw live reaction to the draw. Finally, a good draw for Inter. And we are going to go to the Estadio Dragao or the uh, the Dragons Stadium away in Porto. Lovely, lovely city, Porto, by the way. If you can visit it, make sure you guys visit it. It's going to be, um, yeah, it's not an easy one. It's not an easy one. Um, it's definitely not an easy game. Porto are a tricky team, but out of all the possible teams you could have got, the Chelsea's, the Man City's of this world. I mean, I would have taken Chelsea as well, but Man City definitely, definitely didn't want them. So I'm happy that for once we didn't get the, the possibly the hardest team in the draw. Um, but we cannot underestimate Porto. We cannot underestimate Porto. But on paper, logically, in every single way, Inter should be going through. Just like Napoli, our favourite thing is Eintracht Frankfurt. We should be going through. In, uh, in theory against Porto, but we've seen Porto in past years. They are a difficult team. Juventus know all about that. Players to watch out for from Porto, I would say Diogo Costa, the goalkeeper, who has been very, very good, especially in the Champions League. He's been a standout performer, uh, up-and-coming goalkeeper. Make sure you keep an eye on him. I think he's going to be one of the top goalkeepers in Europe soon. Uh, Taremi, Mehdi Taremi, the, uh, the Iranian striker up front, of course. Uh, he is the kind of you know the the main goal scorer. Apart from that, though, not too many standout players really in their team. I mean, you know, the the wingers Galeno, um, Evan Nielsen, they're they're interesting. You know, good one v one with pace. But you know, they lost they've lost uh, some uh, some important players over the last few seasons. Of course, Luis Diaz went to Liverpool. Um, Vitinha, who was sold to um, PSG in the summer. Fabio Vieira, who was sold to Arsenal. Chancellor Mbemba uh, uh, left as a free transfer. Sergio Oliveira, who, you know, Serie A fans will remember. Um, he was at Roma for a little while now. He's in Turkey. So they've lost a lot of uh, a lot of key players. And, you know, Conce Sao has been doing, you know, his job with limited, limited funds. That's another reason why I do really like him as a coach. And when are Inter actually playing this game? 
Valentine's Day, so you you need to already start people with the partners and girlfriends and wives. You already need to start making up your excuses uh, to somehow not be available on that day. You know, like oh yeah, have a have a work trip or you know something 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 needs to pop up on that day. <laughs> That's the first leg at home. Inter versus Porto on Valentine's Day. Uh, it's going to be a tasty one. Of course, we'll get more time or plenty of time. I mean, how, how many months away are we from that? We're like, you know, more than three months away from that. So we've got plenty of time to think about that. Inzaghi and the players have got plenty of time to think about. Is Inzaghi even going to be there at that time? But anyway, of course, the focus now, again, has to be on Serie A before we finish, before that break, uh, get two wins against Bologna and Atalanta. And yeah, we'll think about this match much later on, guys. But you guys, let me know in the comments down below, what did you make of the draw for Inter especially? What did you make of Porto? Any players to watch out for that we should know about? Uh, what do you make of the Melandro against Spurs, against Conte? What do you make of Napoli, Eintracht Frankfurt? I think I think the Italians have got a good draw for once. You know, uh, I think both teams can go through. I think obviously Milan have, have it harder. Um, but I think, you know, this can be, could be a year that, you know, one of the Italian teams can go, you know, get to the later quarterfinal, semifinal stages, depending on how things go. But yeah, of course, guys, as always, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and always, always Forza Inter!